our real-time bumper here. We got it 180, and I hit it with some grease and wax remover. Throw down some uh, 1K sealer and uh, silver base and clear. Grease and wax remover, matrix. sealer now. I'm going to bring you guys in here and show you this stuff. So we're going to be painting this one out of the cabinet. Tenting this some silver up for it. And uh, we'll be using the 1K sealer I was telling you guys about. That's 150. Velvet's GCI to put the sealer down with. And this is what I love about this sealer right here. Give them what they pay for, brother. Give them what they pay for. Whatever you don't use it for, right back, right back in the gallon.
Somebody painted that bad boy with a spray bomb. So, uh, yeah, it's not looking real good. We'll put one more coat of sealer on, that's all we can do for it, you know? And some solar paint over the top of that and let it fly. Uh, you know? Can't do them for free anymore. And uh, in the past, I probably would have 2K'd that, come back tomorrow and, uh, you know, sanded it and made it look all nice. And they don't give a shit either way, you know? So. I go through all that hassle, you know? Seal it, shoot it, that's what you get. So, that seems to be working. And, uh, that's all these used cars are gonna get, for me, anyway. You know, they don't wanna pay, that's what they get. I'm not mixing paint anymore, I'm gonna just, uh, cheap as possible. Just like the next guy will do. So you can see the top of that cover's pretty rough there. I don't know, uh, what we're gonna do with that. See, it's silver too, so uh, might be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll make it happen. So let that flash for a second, and uh, we'll come back with another coat here. Let's mix up a little base coat. What are you guys looking at over here? Okay, you can see the bench. There you go. Silver. Silver. What do we got? Not much left in the cabinet here. I've been cleaning it out. 
clean that out. Oh, look at that. Some Sherwin Williams. I don't know if I got any reduce of that. Oh, it sounds reduced. Put this over there. the color library down here. See what we got. Whoa, silver! Silver bells, so we got it. Got some silver here, and we got a tenant. So we'll get it in a cup or a can and see what we got here for color match.
we'll give that a New York minute and uh, hit it with another coat. And uh, move on to the next one. The next one will be a hood and a deck lid. Blood the quarters, I think. I'm not sure yet. Give us a little something, something, you know? Just trying to make this happen, get this done. So I hope everybody's having a good day out there today, making a lot of videos. <clears throat> One more day to the weekend. Good to see what Rick Fix is doing on the Porsche. And, uh, yeah, everybody that makes the videos on the weekend. Maybe one for Matt. <clears throat> see how those doors look prime? So yeah, that's where we're at. One quick silver bumper go. I like that 1K sealer, it's just uh, phenomenal. It's cheap. Spray it on, dump it back in the gallon can if you got some left over, and uh, seems to cover up some real scent. Uh, I don't think that's something that I can sell to anybody, being that it's not 2K. Unless you want that kind of thing. counting up you might want to just cancel that upload and start over uh, you should get a definite time and it should fluctuate a minute or two but it should keep going and increasing I noticed that when it does that there's an error and uh, it's best just to stop and start over uh, my average upload time on a, a 40 minute video is uh, 71 minutes so uh, if that gives you any indication I think the longest upload I've ever had was 120 minutes and that was an hour long video so uh, I know a lot of it depends on your router and uh, your server how many people are on the particular uh, the router in your neighborhood and you know what time you're trying to do your uploads that can have a lot to do with it also but, uh, 
And then everybody's got different service, you know, from town to town, so. So I really don't know what's up with that. I've seen a couple guys that have been having issues with the uploads, but uh, mine have seemed to be going really good lately, so hopefully uh, talking shit doesn't make it uh, not work anymore. We're gonna have to throw some more silver on this. I got some, uh, let me see. We mixed uh, Sherwin Williams and Matrix together and let's try some uh, dimensions over the top of this now and see what that does. Didn't seem to wrinkle up too bad. So we're just uh, trying every trick in the book today. We don't want to waste this material down here, so we're trying to use everything in the cabinet. Yeah. Uh, naturally, the more jobs you can do out of the cabinet, the better your profit margin. So that was some dimensions. That's made by Sherwin Williams. It's their uh, secondary line. Uh, seems to spray okay silver and uh <laughs> that's just beautiful 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 so we're gonna put one more drop coat on there orientation coat as mr sadajet likes to call it and uh, we're gonna mix up some clear, some American clear, made right in Indiana. So, trying a new clear out lately. Uh, really liking it, it's a two to one high solid. Yeah. We're going two to one to one to stretch it a little further. And uh, let me drop some silver on this and we'll go mix some of that up and get out of here.
clear it was either uh, 65 or 75 dollars for a kit two to one so you get a six quart spray which is pretty decent and you can get even more than that out of it if you put the reducer in Universal accelerator.
coat with that flash and we'll be out of here. Yeah. 33 minutes, I went a little over. Usually 25 minutes to do a bumper. I don't know what's going on, getting old. So, uh, there you go, very little minimal, minimal uh, investment in this bumper. Got about 30 minutes invested in it. Maybe about $10 in materials. Maybe figured everything out. And uh, you'll note there's no bag on this car because the cheaper you do them, the, you know. There you go, want plastic? I can take that off. You know, but you can't lower the price and still bag the car and do all that good stuff. You know, you just gotta, uh, they got a guy that buffs cars here, so that's what he does. You know, they overspray them and he buffs them. Works out good. So, we'll do that a second. That's some slow dry and clear. Hopefully the accelerator will speed it up somewhat. And, uh, looks good though. Looks really nice. So I'm sure Tom's looking forward to working with some of this American clear. This is made right in his hometown of Indiana. So that's cool. American product. And uh, they make a couple different stuff. You know, they make some factory pack colors, I believe. And I think they have a four to one and uh, this two to one. And uh, this is compliant, coast to coast, to be a low VOC. So. Well, there you go, one more bumper. I'll uh, clean the gun out and go upload these vids.